Hey everybody and welcome to part 2 of my AGM88 harm tutorial for the F18 Hornet. Um, the last video that I did on this was for target of opportunity and self protect modes. Um, this video is going to be about pre-briefed mode. So, um, pre-briefed mode is if you are going to attack a certain target position and you already know the type of radar that's there. Um, so, up ahead of us here, I'll attack to pause, we'll go waypoint one here, and just set sequence, because that's where our target is. Um, I know that I have an SA-10 up there, so I just gotta cycle through this really quick. Hold on, sorry about this. I meant to do this before I started recording, but oh well. Um, there we go. So this here, we have all of our radars and things, um, all of the different types of radars, different search unit, uh, search radars and track radars and everything like that. And to the left of them here is all of our codes that we'll get on our RWRs. You can see we're already being spiked by this BB, which is our Big Bird search radar. And the code we're going to have to enter in a minute is going to be 104. So first thing we want to do, I'll go over controls. There aren't as many. Um, air to ground mode, or you can press the button. It's like two on your keyboard. Uh, weapon release button. Um, that's about, that's about it, really. Um, you don't even have to make anything soy. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna select our harms, go to pre-briefed mode, and there are two different pull-up modes. There's aircraft pull-up and harm pull-up. We're gonna do one of each because we've got two harms. Aircraft pull-up, we are going to be lofting this missile, so we are gonna be going fast, and once we get in range, we'll see a... I think I think it's his AC range, I believe. Um, and then we're gonna pull up, and we're gonna f um, press and hold weapon release and pull up until it fires our missile. Um, and then harm pull up is easier. We're just gonna be straight and level. And then once we get in range, um, we'll press weapon release, and then it'll fire and it'll do its own lofting. So it's gonna basically pull up and then increase our range. So we want to go to air to ground mode actually, um, we'll set this to situational awareness mode, we'll just go ahead and increase our range a bit, um, arms, we'll go to this, we already have this set up, we're going to go to UFC here, press OSB next to target on here, um, and like I said before, we're getting spiked by this big bird search radar, wherever that is, um, here, so our code is 104. So we're going to type in 104 here, press enter, and it will automatically assign that to both harms. We have aircraft pull up selected, that's going to be our first one. Um, actually no, we'll do harm pull up first, because uh, that'll be a little easier to do. We'll unpause this here, uh, we'll get trimmed out here. Another thing we need to do is you want to select whichever waypoint it's on, or input a waypoint if you don't have one already. Um, and then you want to press waypoint designate here, designate our waypoint as a target, and that's where that harm is going to be going to that general area, and that's where it'll be searching for its target. We'll just go burner here a little bit. I'll just go into um, I'll just go into autopilot here while we're waiting. And this gives us a pretty good range on these harms, so we should be there pretty quick. Kind of measures on. So we'll keep flying ahead here. You also want to make sure your master arm is on. That's definitely important, or the missile won't fire. I'll be right back once we are in zone. Okay, so it just clicked over here and it says harm range. If we we're in aircraft mode, we will be in a minute. It would say AC range um, or RNG. And so we are just about ready here. Um, and we are gonna just press weapon release. No, we're not, because we're not actually in range yet. My bad, I'm sorry. We have to wait until um, that these carrots here descend and then intersect our velocity vector. Almost there now. There we go. We're 
about that. So now, there we go, our missile is lofting up there nicely. Now we're going to select aircraft pull up, and we are going to line up on our steering queue here. And we're going to press and hold weapon release, and then we're just going to pull up or go full burner here until we intersect that horizontal line. There we go, and our other missile's away. So we'll roll back down here and turn in the opposite direction. Because that SA-10 has a long range, so we do not want to get shot down by that today. So I'm just going to turn tail and run here, head in absolute opposite direction. There we go. So we'll just wait here for our missiles to go and impact, so I'll be right back when they are about to do so. Alright, so I'm just watching this and this SA-10 is shooting at these targets and hopefully isn't going to shoot them down. Nope, it missed because they were too close. Um, We'll just keep watching this. Oops, hold on a second. Let me just get positioned so we can see this. So this SAM system is really, really trying hard to shoot these down. And there's our harm impacting there. So they were not able to shoot it down. And that's the second one landing right there. So, pretty successful. Taking out this radar, it can no longer track targets at a long range. Um, when we weren't getting spiked by these radars, so we weren't able to destroy those. But what you could do now, because it won't really be able to engage you as easily, I don't think at all actually now, you could come in with some JSOWs or something and just destroy these launchers and those other radars. Um, that's actually a relatively common um, seed loadout is to use harms and the um, JSOW cluster munitions to destroy those sites. Um, but anyway... Hopefully you found this informative and helpful. This is definitely another useful mode if you are planning on doing some seed missions that you know what the target is specifically. Um, otherwise, you would want to use the other targets, target of opportunity mode in particular, if you are just doing kind of general seed on like some of the FOIA and through the Inferno servers um, or whatever, if you're not entirely sure what you're going to be running into. Um, but anyway, I hope you learned something. I definitely did when I was figuring out how to do this for the video. Um, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.